so guys this is the pap aka akamo <laughs> that i processed in my previous video so in this video i'll be showing you guys how i cook it and serve it to my kids either as breakfast or as dinner and this powder you see me adding to the pap is called soya beans one of the most nutritious food ever you can give to a growing baby or a growing child so please relax and watch this video to the very end as i show you guys how i process the soya beans and how i cook this pop that i'm serving to my kids as you can see in the video please relax and watch to the very end So guys this is what soya beans looks like it's literally like the usual white beans but it's smaller in size and the color is um golden yellow okay as you can see there are some dirty particles in it reason because i had just purchased it from the market the same day i bought the yellow corn guinea corn and millet i used in processing um the pap i just mentioned earlier run please i'll drop the link to that video in the description box kindly watch it after watching this one okay so right after washing the soya beans i mean i literally washed these beans like three to four times until i was satisfied that is clean and I picked out the dirt and I poured the soya beans into a sieve so I can easily drain off the water before transferring the soya beans to a tray and right after transferring the soya beans to the tray I sun dried the soya beans so guys what you see me holding here is called dates this is actually dry date it looks this way because i washed it okay i forgot i totally forgot to film how i you know cleaned up this date i just broke out the seeds took out the seeds from the date and washed it before sun drying it together with the soya beans because i intend blending them together you guys in case you're wondering why i had to wash dates i bought this date off from the market so it's important you clean these things properly so with that being said guys the next day after i was setting the soya beans was properly dried i fried the soya beans in a dry pan now this is where the real work is <laughs> you don't just wash soya beans dry it and blend it no you fry it in a dry pan until it's brown just like the way granite is being fried until it's crispy so once you're setting the soya beans is crispy and you can easily peel off the skin then the soya beans is ready so here i'm transferring the soya beans to the sieve again so i can easily peel off the skin this is the fastest way i peel off the skin of the soya beans so so i'm going to blend the soya beans with this um, dates together so they'll mix everything inside and blend them together okay so I'll definitely take you guys with me to the market to show you guys how I'll be blending this. So please keep watching and please do not forget as you watch, give the video a big thumbs up. It goes a long way in encouraging me and it also helps my channel grow. Keep watching while I take you to the market to show you guys how I'll be blending the soya beans and dates. Rich food, rich food. Please, if you've got kids from seven months old i mean i've mentioned this earlier on i said i gave him my baby's vest i didn't give my baby sugar until they turned one year plus it's okay to give sugar from one year like i like i've read and heard okay i didn't give my baby sugar until they were one year plus that's when i started giving them sugar so date <laughs> was the order of the day for me i mean i blend it i mix it with every single food that i give to them that that I give to them like from brown and etc etc okay so yes even if they are over a year old I still give them this like I still make soya beans from brown with dates for my kids very healthy very very healthy even for an adult okay so 
guys i use the commercial engine to blend the soya beans and the date mixed together reason because my dry blender at home will not give me the powder form that i need i mean i've already washed the date and even if i sun dried it it was not as dry as the way date looks when you buy it off from the market i don't know if you get that <laughs> so that's one of the major reason why i use the commercial engine to blend the soya beans okay so here here is the soya beans powder and the pop meanwhile i just brought them all out from the freezer because i'm about to make breakfast for my kids okay <laughs> I just had to let the background volume play to let you guys know that my kids are always with me in the kitchen. I mean, for my old subbies, you guys know that already. So, right after stirring the um, pop until it was um, dissolved, I had to wash the plantain, cut it down, and you know, put it in the frying pan to start frying it all this why my darlings i was boiling water the pop is actually the last thing that i made okay or rather that i prepared so after frying the plantain i fried the eggs you guys i was literally in a hurry because my kids were hungry i mean this was already 8 a.m in the morning and i was a bit late for their breakfast uh, but i just had to film <laughs> okay so after frying the plantain and frying the egg i went to the boiling water and tada this is how i prepare pop please do let me know in the comment section how you prepare pop i know some people cook pop in the pot but guys sometimes it end up becoming very thick or even very watery i don't know how to explain that so that's why i prefer making pop with this method okay i make sure the water is very very bold like seriously very bold before i you know add it to the pop and i stir the pop while i pour the boiled water so here i'm adding the processed soya beans powder mixed with date you guys this meal is yummy okay so here as you can see i'm stirring the powder um soya beans together with the pop to mix them properly you guys i stirred and stirred and stirred and stirred until i got a smooth pop now take a good look at the combination as in fried plantain fried egg and yummy tom brown yes i finally said the name this is tom brown remember the pop that i process is three different grains i used in processing this pop breakfast is ready You're welcome, baby. So, my darlings, I had to go to my Instagram story archive just to save up some old videos and pictures of different ways that I serve my kids Tom Brown. <laughs> right from 2019 and 2020 you don't say no be today 